I didn't realize you were such a gentleman. It was nothing. I don't think I ever really looked at you before. Feel free. You're very handsome. Thanks. For you? Never get to the good part. ultraviolet rays pouring in and giving people cancer and the governments aren't doing anything about it i've got to go okay see you later bye bye arthur sorry oh, oh. here arthur in the future please let me open my own doors Please prepare a letter of thank you to someone at whose house you stayed, telling them merci. Oui, Madame Bissonnette. Et puis Arthur and um, Caitlin. Caitlin? Is there something wrong with Caitlin? Um, no. Uh, I mean, well, no. <laughs> Les enfants, attention, s'il vous plaît. For Monday, please prepare a telephone conversation en français. Oui, madame. Uh, yeah, uh, oui. For the next time, please study the petit vocabulaire on page 46. Bon, allez-y. Finally, I'm starving. See you in there, eh? Yeah, OK. Um, I've got lots of ideas for this assignment. Mm -hmm. I was in France all summer with my mom. We can work on it tonight. You can come to my place. Well, it's not due till Monday. We both have a spare Friday. Let's work on it then. All right. Okay. Okay. So, are we still on for Friday? A movie? Your yeah. choice? Yeah, I guess. Are you mad at me about something? No. My summer courses were really easy. Even math. I was afraid they'd be a lot worse. Well, we should probably get going. So, okay. stay in class, okay? All right. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. An abortion. That's so horrible. Which one do you think it was? Oh, well, I'm sure it was in Heather. Anyway, you don't know what really happened. Yes, I do. They're at the clinic. One of them had an abortion. Maybe they were just doing research or something. Yeah, okay, right. Even if it's true, I don't see that it's any of our business. Abortion's everybody's business. I don't have a boyfriend either. At least you've been on dates. Only a few times. And wait a minute. You went with Arthur to the graduation dance. Yeah, but I asked him. And anyway, he's a boy, not a guy. Don't you understand? I'm in high school. It's time I have some romance. Kathleen, it's perfectly OK not to have a boyfriend. <laughs> I thought initiation was over. So did I. Would Drew Pearson please come to the office? Drew Pearson to the office. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, brother. You know those nine graders? They're trying to take over the whole school. I know. Excuse us. Our lockers. 
Yeah, so. What about them? Mm. 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 <laughs> you say something? Niner? Let's come back later. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's come back later. Oh, Little nice. kids. <laughs> One, two, three, spit. There was this knight playing test with death. Mm. And he thought he was saving himself, but in reality, he was saving Joseph and Mary. <laughs> so what happened to the knight? Well, he saved Joseph and Mary. Oh, okay, I thought he was sacrificing himself for Joseph and Mary. No. What was this movie called? So we'll tell him seriously. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if he wants to I'll do it, here it comes. Hey, dudes. Joey, we've been talking. If we're gonna make a video, we need to practice. Seriously. Well, I can't tonight. My dad and I are going to a car show. How about Saturday? Uh, I'm going with my parents to lock up the cottage. Okay, how about Monday after school? I've got a counseling session. Guys, if you want to get famous, you got to make some sacrifices. Uh, what about Friday? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I got a date with Caitlin. If you want to get famous, you got to make some sacrifices. Look, I'm not messing with that date, all right? I think she's mad at me. What'd you do this time? I don't know. That's what I want to find out. There's no way I'm going to lose that chick, man. I've got a newspaper meeting. Oh. See you later. OK, bye. Bye. Don't eat the soup. I think it's made from dead rats. <laughs> You're sure spending a lot of time with that clove. We're just friends. We've got a lot in common, that's all. We both like movies and the environment. And he's cute. Maya, I don't like him now. Besides, I'm still sort of seeing Joey, I guess. He makes me so mad sometimes. He's always talking about himself or the dumb band. It seems to me that you and Joey are just about finished. You could be right. Arthur. Huh? Do you want to play? Oh, sure. Right. Watch him cheat. I do not. I'm just good. That's all. Yeah, right. <laughs> Break a leg. Hey. Attention students. The drama club needs you. Sign up. Hey, Scott, how are you? Not bad. Hi. Hi. You should sign up for the school play. It's always a lot of fun. A guy talked to me. Oh? So was he a generic guy or did he have a name? His name's Scott. He signed up for the school play, so I did too. He's definitely older than me. And definitely cute. And he definitely smiled at me. Kathleen, you love Magnus. Don't make fun. This is important. It's embarrassing not having a boyfriend. Oh, no. Let's come back later. No. Our books are in there. We'll get in trouble if we don't have them. I don't know. I'm sure they'll move if we ask them politely. When Drew Pearson please come to the office, it's in your best interest. Drew Pearson to the office. Ahem. Thank you. We need to get into our lockers. Beat it. Give our lockers to Terry. Mm -hmm. He never uses them. Think they are. Maybe we're only in grade nine, but we've got a right to our own lockers. I know. But try telling that to them. Yick. Go away, you 
busy. Come on, you're the only person I can talk to about this. What's the problem? It's really a secret, all right? There's this girl I sort of like. Caitlin. No. Well, I mean, yeah, sort of. Well, I want to ask her out, but I don't know how. You're a rich buyer. Come on, you got to help me. I helped you way back, remember? First of all, Caitlin? Three months, she's going with Joey. That's over. I heard her and Maya talking. Really? Then ask her out. It's my problem. I can't. Sure you can. I don't even know if she likes me. What if she says no? It won't be the end of the world. Arthur, come on. This is high school. People ask each other out all the time. It's no big deal. Look at it this way. If you don't ask her out, she can't say yes. Attention, people. The use of so-called boom boxes or ghetto blasters in school corridors and the cafeteria is inconsiderate to staff and other students. It is strictly against school policy. Please keep your musical interests to yourself. Thank you. Um, Caitlin? Uh-huh. Um... Uh, when are we going to work on our assignment? I, I forgot. Uh, this afternoon, on our spare. Oh, yeah, right. I think he's got a crush on you. Arthur? No way. At least I hope not. It's not exactly my type. That's him. What do you think? He's at least in grade 11. Do you think I have a chance? Well, he did talk to you. I thought of something last night. What if we get to play romantic leads opposite each other in the school play? Can you imagine? Kathleen, forget it. This is high school. All the good roles go to seniors. <laughs> well, I can dream, can I? Attention cheerleaders. Our schedule practice after school today. Please remember your problem. Jean-Luc Godard? Uh, no. Does he go to Degrassi? Not quite. He's a French film director. 
<laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Lots of people haven't heard of him. But he's really good. Very political. His film, Masculine Feminine, is showing it to Fox tonight. I was wondering if you wanted to go with me. Uh, tonight? I'm sort of... Well, what about Saturday? It's only on tonight. If you can't go... Uh, no. I, I want to go. I'd love to go. I'll go. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll see you later then. Okay. Bye. Bye. Maya. I have a problem. Claude asked me out to a movie for tonight. You can't. You're going out with Joey. I know, but I want to go with Claude. And you said you didn't like him that way. Don't joke. This is serious. And I already told Claude yes. Well, what are you going to do about Joey? I don't know. I don't want to hurt him. He's going to be hurt. How would you feel if someone broke a date with you to go out with someone else? I know. That's why I can't tell him the truth. What I need is a really good excuse. I think you're afraid of dropping Joey, in case things don't work out with Claude. Yeah. But that's got nothing to do with it. This isn't a crime. It's just a white lie. And I have to do it. I really, really want to go out with Claude. Well, good luck. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Drew Pearson, please report to the office. First, I go. Bonjour. Je veux faire une réservation pour le déjeuner, s'il vous plaît. What? Oh, uh, nothing. Okay, then you say, like you said, très bien, mademoiselle, pour combien de personnes? Um, Caitlin. We're almost done. We can work on it tonight. You can come to my place, or on the weekend. Uh, this weekend's not so good, and I can't tonight. I'm busy. Oh, all right. Arthur, you could do me a really big favor. Um, sure. Great, come here. Joey and I are supposed to go out tonight, but there's this movie, a French movie, and I really want to go to that instead. But Joey will be hurt if he thinks I don't want to go out with him just to see the movie. Well, why don't you ask him to go with you? Uh, he doesn't like foreign movies. So can we just tell him we have to work on the French assignment? I'm not really that good at lying. You won't have to. I'll tell him. I just need you to back me up. Please? All right. Great. Let's go. Thanks. Well, when are you going to show us the script? And when are we going to get together and practice? We really need to, Joy. It's getting close. I know, I know. We'll practice when we have Joey. time. Uh, listen. I'm sorry, but I can't go to the movies with you tonight. Arthur and I have to work on a French assignment. All, All right. right. Guys. You're canceling our date to do homework on a Friday? Perfect. I'm sorry. It's due Monday, and it's the only time. How about next week sometime? Sure. Sorry. This is going to be the best video. How come she has to do homework on a Friday? She's a brain. Don't worry about it. Now we can rehearse. Yeah, fame and fortune, here we come. Wine, women, song, women. Tonight, the Degrassi Tigers take on their arch rival, the Central Tech Raiders, on our own turf. Football, no thank you. Else. There is Let's nothing in boring this football. It was a great play. There's a 52 left. It's him. 54. Quick, at cool. Quick, cool. Just do it. Come on, good. 
It's great anyway. Oh, you're right. It was really good. Hi. Hi. Uh, listen, we're going to the game. Want to come with us? Sure. Um, I've got to get home. See you later, Kathleen. Enjoy the game. I'm not supposed to go through there. Relax. You're with us. Have you ever been to a game before? No, but I've always wanted to go. So about the assignment, do you want to meet early Monday to finish it? Sure. OK, great. And thanks a lot for your help with the you know. Um, Caitlin. Uh-huh. Um, do you want to go to a movie tomorrow? You and me, like a date. Uh, I can't. Uh, some other time. Sure, when? Uh, I don't know. We'll talk next week. Why don't we talk now? Then we can get it all organized and stuff. I don't think so. I mean, I really like you. I just think we'd be better as friends. Right. Well, I gotta go. I'll see you Monday. Bye. Thanks. Shall we? It's gonna be a great movie. Oh, I can't wait to see it. It is, it's gonna be great. I've seen it twice already. Twice? Can you see it again? Wonderful. <laughs> they treated me like a real person, not like a niner at all. Maybe you'll get your romance after all. I hope so, Melanie. He's so nice. And he is in grade 11. <laughs> oh, here we go again. No. No more. What are you doing? Get out of there. Now. <laughs> Excuse me? These are our lockers. Not yours. Go stand in front of your own lockers. Hey, let me go. Watch it. Who do you think you are? How dare you block our lockers? We have just as much right to be there as you do. And another thing, this hairspray is polluting the environment. Get out of here! Now! Niners, they're completely out of their minds. They should be locked up. Are you okay? Of course. Not all the good girls go to seniors. <laughs> Look, if Caitlin doesn't want to go out with you, that's her loss, right? Right. Like my second brother says, there's a lot of fish out in the ocean. Sure. It's all right. Fine. No problem. Arthur! I thought we were supposed to meet early work on the assignment. Oh, I finished it. You didn't have to do that. It's all right. I felt like it. Thanks. Arthur, I want to thank you for being such a great partner and a real friend. Maya, hi. So 
and how to go with clothes. Great. After the movie, we went to a cafe and had some cappuccino. Sounds very romantic. <laughs> it was. I think I'm in love.